You have medical questions, we have answers. It's time to hashtag Ask the, the doctors. doctors! You betcha, you try and stump the doctors. Not today. I challenge you. Are you two ready? Ready. First question comes to us via Skype from Amina in Cliffwood, New Jersey. Welcome to the show, Amina. What's going on? Um, I want to know how do I get rid of tonsil stones? There's these things that I cough up. Um, it makes my throat hurt, and I'm a singer. It can make your breath stink, and I want to know how I could get rid of these because they could be very painful, and they affect my life more than it should. <laughs> and that's understandable. Yeah. Very, yeah. very painful. Good question, and you you covered all the uh, the high points there, Amina. I mean, if you if any of you have looked at your tonsils, you know that they're wavy, they have crevices, they have crypts. Some people have those thick or those deep fissures in your tonsils. You're more likely to collect debris. What are we talking about? Food, secretions. They get lodged inside those crypts. What happens? Bacteria grows on them. Yes, it can give you bad breath. Yes, it can cause pain. It sets you up for recurrent tonsillitis. So there's a number of reasons why these can be a big problem. Now, number one, I would recommend using a water pick. So it's like it's like power washing your tonsils, that that water under higher pressure can actually dislodge that debris, those stones, and clean out those tonsils, help with your breath. You can actually mix a little peroxide or mouthwash with that to power wash your tonsils. Number two, mm -hmm. I think maybe it's time to remove your tonsils. And I know as an adult, young adult like you are, yeah. having your tonsils removed as an adult has gotten a bad rap. They now do it using a technique called coblation, which is much less invasive, much less swelling, much less pain. You get back to your singing. You know, I'm a little concerned. Removing your tonsils may affect the resonance of your voice. So that that's Ooh. something that you would want to discuss with an ear, nose, and throat doctor. But Amina, it, it sounds like you have been struggling with this for a while. Mm -hmm. And obviously a lot of options here. Board certified otolaryngologist, Dr. Linda Dahl has agreed to meet with you to discuss your options oh, wow. and will also waive her fees for a tonsillectomy if one is needed and that is something you want to pursue. Amina, you're in good hands. Thank you. The good Thank thing you. is, if you have your tonsils out, you get to eat ice cream for a couple days, so. Yes. <laughs> Thank you so much, Amina, for joining us. And, and, and good luck with everything.